welcome back to the channel. So today we've got the 2025 i4 eDrive 40. So those 25s are starting to roll in. And this is the G26 chassis. It is for store inventory. And it's also in a new color, at least for the i4. So it's Cape York Green, which first appeared on the X1. I believe it was the launch color for the X1. Then, strangely enough, it's also on the XM. Also on the X2. And of course, here the 4 Series. Also on the 5 Series. So it's making its way around. Now, is it a really good color? I'm not really sold on it, but let's begin up front. So, redesign headlights and front fascia. So you got your quotation marks for your daytime rain lights. Just a single headlight here. And then you'll notice, because it is not M Sport, it doesn't have shadow line or M Sport Professional, it does not have a cornering light in it. Moving to the grill, so redesign grill. So it's basically very similar to what's on the iX although the iX has a little bit more uh, features on it. Then we've got the parking assistance camera there in the middle of it, and then down below driving assistance professional. You can also offer a driving assistance package, which would get you active cruise control or ACC stop and go. All right, let's move to the side. So we got the base 18 inch wheels there style 854s. Now the 854s on the i4 eDrive 40 translate to at least an estimated 318 miles of range of the full charge. Of course, you can do better or worse depending on your driving style. All right, then we got Cape York Green out of direct sunlight. We might wear on the other side for a little bit more lighting effect on the Cape York. And out back, taillights, no change. So you do have to set up the M Sport package and I can't remember if it's M Sport Pro or Shadowline Package, whatever package that happens to be, will get you the laser taillights. So stand on the i4 M50. We got i4 badging, eDrive 40 badging in chrome. Then down below our faux diffuser, and you got your cutouts for where the exhaust would be for a gas powered G26. There's that rear three quarters view of the i4. So Grand Coupe chassis, I think can look good. I think the previous generation looked a little bit better. I think this one's a little bit too bulky, in other words, too tall. But it's not terrible looking. Uh, battery size, so about 81.2 or 81.4 kilowatt hours of capacity. You do have two years of charging via Electrify America. Now, that said, there is a limit. So it's 1,000 kilowatts. So if you reach that limit, you're free or complimentary sessions are done. Let's make our way inside go over pricing and options. Now opening up, we have the black perforated sensor deck. Now it's hard to figure out what would go well with Cape York Green. I think beige would work well. And ivory Vanaska leather, mocha maybe. But in terms of the sensor tech, I'm thinking just black and beige. Cognac might be a bit of a stretch. But door card, you got Middle portion here in Sensitec, hard plastic on the upper portion of the door card. The seats, standard seats that you're all used to by now on the 4 and 3 series and also the 2 series. So you know, it's fairly comfortable, pretty well bolstered. Down below, again, you have to step up to leather on the 2 series, 3 series, and 4 series in order to get uh, side bolster adjustment. So you do have lumbar support and a manually powered crown catcher. And we've got BMW eye badging here on the door sill. All right, so in front of me, this is the new steering wheel for the LCI refresh version of the 4 Series Grand Coupe. So it's the steering wheel from the iX. It's also appearing on other vehicles like the 5 Series and 3 Series and 2 Series. So it's a two-spoke steering wheel. Then on the left-hand side, we've got controls for your Driving Assistance Pro plus Cruise Control. And of course, no shift paddles in the i4. Then you got iDrive 8.5 live cockpit plus the heads-up display. The rest of the curves lay here. All right, the trim here is the Fine Line Light Open Pour Wood Trim. So I think it looks, I think, pretty elegant. All right, and then of course, the other change here is the vent controls, nipples or nipple clamp adjusters here to change where the air is blowing or close off the vent. More of the trim here in the center console area. We've got the blue start stop button, a drive selector nub, and iDrive controller. All right, starting price, the 2025 i4 eDrive 40 is 57,900 bucks. Metallic paint as another 650. Sensatec is included. Driving Assistance Pro for their 1700. 
parking assistance package for their 700, premium package for their 1750. That does the premium package does include heads-up display plus Harman Kardon sound system, so pretty good deal. And we got luggage department mats, wheel locks, all with their floor mats, all told MSRP of this particular example, sixty-four thousand three hundred and fifty-five bucks. And strangely enough, it's one thing I like to add to a lot of the vehicles coming in: floating hubcaps not available yet on the i4. So strange on that. But let's go ahead and hop the back seat real quick. All right, so opening up again, the width of the door pretty narrow. And here's a view of the cockpit from the back seat. We do have our moonroof shade open. Down below, you do have a third climate control zone for your rear passengers, plus USB-C charging ports. Even though it's a narrow opening, I think the neighbor legroom is pretty good. And headroom can be a bit of an issue for your taller passengers. I'm about five foot 11. All right, move to the back here. Kick to open. Get that hatchback opening up so pretty good opening to getting the cargo in and out of the car of course you can also fold down those rear seats for even more room so you get a flexible fast charger here which includes uh, attachments for household 110 120 volt definitely don't use that unless it's an absolute um, necessity but you have a NEMA 1450 adapter for level 2 charging at home and then down below you have a little bit more storage room plus that mobility kit Use the kick to close and level two charging. Look at about 10 hours to charge from empty to full. All right, so horsepower up to 335 horsepower and 315 torque. So it's a pretty decent return on that. But I think for my money, the i4 X Drive 40 makes a lot of sense. Got more power, not as much, of course, as the M50. It's still have a pretty decent range. But that's it for another look at a i4 eDrive 40. We'll see you at the next video.